British Minister of War, Earl Kitchener, believed the war would last at least three years. And that the quarter of a million men in the British Army wouldn't last long. Three days after war was declared, Kitchener made a public appeal for 100,000 volunteers. There was a massive campaign to get young men to join up. The Yorkshire Post reported how a soccer match turned into a recruiting drive. Stirring scenes were witnessed at Leeds City Football Club's ground last night at the end of match. The Lord Mayor addressed a crowd of about 4,000 spectators. There was a spirited rush across the field and rousing cheers. Up the steps, sturdy young fellows came to receive an armlet of ribbon with the national colours. When the rush subsided, it was found that the number of volunteers was 149. The Lady Mayoress called for a further 51. Another dash was made, another round of prolonged cheering, and to the chorus of it's a long way to Tipperary. The quota was quickly filled. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. To the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly. Join up with your pals was the slogan. Charlie Taylor and his friends went to sign up. They asked me my height and I told them. They hummed and hard about it. I'm five foot six and worried stiff so I filled my shoes with papers. Anyway, I says, well, there's my pals joining, six of us all join and all footballers. So they says, oh, go on, let them go in. So I was one of the midgets. The government promised that if you signed up with your pals, you would be kept together. Towns and villages would compete with each other to raise the most battalions. Whole streets and factories would sign up together. As the war went on, many of them would die. Too.